and I love to tap at home. We have this floor, but it's not the ideal floor for tapping. It's loud and it's really slippery. So I, I've wanted a tap board for a while, but I know they're expensive and even getting like Marley floor or something, they're expensive and any kind of dance floor is expensive. So I thought maybe I could make one myself. And so I did, I found a way to make it and I've been using it a lot and it's been, it's been really cool. It's portable. If I was gonna perform somewhere that didn't have a, like it was carpet or didn't have a big space but I needed this kind of floor, then I could take this with me and just put it down before I perform. So I am going to show you how I made this tap board. Originally, I was going to buy some wood. I went to Lowe's and I was looking at the wood, but I couldn't find something that I liked. It was either too thick or a wood that I would have had to sand down and just couldn't find anything that I liked. Someone also said to go look at the, there's a scrap wood area that they put the scraps in that when people cut wood, they put in. So I looked over there and there was a lot of decent sized pieces that weren't too big, weren't too small. I did have to, I think I did have to cut a little bit off of this, but it wasn't bad. Although I had a hard time putting this in my car, but I got it home. So yeah, I went to Lowe's. I ended up getting this piece and I got another piece off of the scrap bin, but I ended up just using this one because I liked it better and it works better. But I did that and I got these gym floor mats to put under it for some padding underneath it. You can use whatever size wood that you would like. This is the size that I went with. These squares are about uh, 12 and 3 quarters by 12 and 3 quarter inches. And then this piece of wood is a 3 by 4 foot oriented strand board. And I just looked it up for a 4 by 8 piece, it's like $14. So I would recommend before you look into buying wood, unless you just don't care, go look in the scrap bin and see if you can find any wood there first that you would like. It's been a good size for me. It might be a little too big, so getting something smaller wouldn't be bad. I think I got them at Walmart. I can't find the actual ones that I got. I think they were, they were less than, they were less than 30 bucks for sure. Pretty sure they were less than 20, but I can't remember exactly how much they were. But this is, I mean, it was a pretty inexpensive project. I mean, I spent less than 50 bucks. I didn't, I didn't have to buy the wood. I just had to buy these and then I used liquid nails, glue, which is less than $10 too. These are like half inch thick. So I got those and then placed the wood down on the floor and then put glue on each of these pieces and then placed them on the board and then put the pieces together, each one as I placed them after I put the wood on. So I used uh, liquid nails glue. I got, I used two packages. Uh, this is what I had left over. I had a half of this package left over. I think I used two, I might have used three, but um, it needed a lot. Once I got them all put together and glued on the board, I just let it sit overnight, I think maybe for like 24 hours. It might have been 48 hours, I'm not sure. You just have to keep checking it. This is a strong glue, but I don't know, maybe maybe it was the rubber that made it take a lot longer or the, the wood. It's not really a wood glue, but it says it'll work on wood. So I just kept checking it. I think it might have taken a little longer than a day, but just keep checking it, let it sit there, and then make sure it's completely dry before you try to use it. I put some books and some heavy stuff on it. I used a brush to even it out over the whole thing. You definitely do that so you can get all over and there's not spots that don't have glue on it. But yeah, I let it sit and then I came back and tried it out and made sure that it was glued on there and started to use it. I mean, it's not gonna be, you know, professional grade or anything, but just something to use if you're at home or um, something you wanna take with you short term that you need right now. It's an inexpensive way for a tap board if you need one. It works really good and I use it a lot. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank y'all for watching and I will see y'all next time.